Yes, that is the question we are all asking now, with greetings from Iceland. But here we have some of the latest footage from a volcano, and I'm linking to the video source in this very short update, just to tell you that uh, our experts are not willing to issue a death certificate yet. And they say that they can still see some lava just under there. So it is possible that the lava is still flowing through closed channels, and we have seen that happen before. So hold on, because this volcano has been unpredictable. But as for me, it's given me a great pleasure to visit it and cover it from all angles like I've been doing for the last months. And I will for sure miss this location since it turned out rather well for us after all. Only minor damage and no serious accidents. But a great show, day and night. And I want to remind you that this event was most likely just the first one in a scenario that can take up to 200 years. So if it's over, it's just the end of a chapter. And uh, it would not surprise me if the next eruption would take place on the seabed, with uh, new islands coming and going, as we know from this uh, area. But I'm going to talk about that later. I'm already working on a video covering that. Just like I'm working on this thing that's going on by Lake Askja, where the land is still rising, or uh, 7 centimeters in total. And seismic activity is increasing day by day. So a level of uncertainty was uh, declared just a few hours ago, meaning that the civil defense is getting ready, and you can check my first Askja video for more about that. That's a growing story like I predicted. But as for the Keltingadalir eruption, I'm going to end this video with few shots from the beginning of it, and sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland, where we expect more big news in the coming weeks and months. Another day has come. Sleepless nights